Uh, well, I did, I never, I did not have an, a conventional bringing up. Uh, my mother was one of these really extraordinary women. Uh, of she was born 1910. Uh, when she was 20, she she came from a upper middle class Jewish family in Tunisia, where women aren't supposed to do anything. At 20, she went to Paris and tried, she was a writer, she was a playwright, and she tried to have her plays produced. Of course, nobody would pay attention to her because she was a woman, so she pretended that she was the assistant to a man, and her pen name was Fred Arlen, Fred Arlen, Fred Arlen. And uh, the play got produced to raves, and she became you know, very well known there, and then she, she was kind of a hothead. Then she learned how to fly airplanes, and she ended up uh, going to the United States in 1936 uh, with her first husband, uh, and uh, fell in love with Hollywood, decided she wanted to come back. The war broke out. She was back in Paris. The war broke out in 39, and she ended up finally coming back here. Um, so she was, she was really an extraordinary woman. Then she met my father, this is a long story, a very unconventional <laughs> relationship, I won't get into the details now. But uh, my brother and I were born here, and then when I was five months old, they split up and she went back to Tunisia, and my father went back to Paris. Uh, and so then she had to raise two children, which she wasn't, you know, she really was not that kind of a person. She was really a free spirit. So she put me in a Catholic convent, and I was raised by the nuns. Not that I didn't see her, I mean, I saw her, holidays and, and, and summer times. So I had a very unusual upbringing. So I, I never, so that was number one. And she was very um, uh, verbal in terms of what she felt life should be. She had, we didn't have any furniture in the house. <laughs> we, we, uh, we just had piles of papers and she was in legal cases. And she would write on the wall, freedom, you know, liberté, liberté everywhere. And uh, her mother had been um, uh, uh, a singer who had her own orchestra. Uh, and she sang classical Arabic music from Andalusia. And back in the 1910s, she would go to Vienna to record her music. So I come from a lineage of pretty extraordinary women. And I have daughters who are amazing too.